欢迎来到阿皮猴儿事件、空间与城市系列第二十四集。澳洲新建全球最高木建筑，五百八十棵树储碳量达两千三百万磅。英语发音、中英双语文字稿与关键字简介。The world's tallest wooden skyscraper has just been greenlit, and it's a game changer. Located in Australia. The major project will turn timber from just 580 trees into nearly half of the 627-foot-tall towers built materials. Sustainability is a big buzzword in modern architecture, and not just when building the world's tallest wooden skyscraper. According to the Green Building Council, the built environment accounts for nearly 40% of global energy-related carbon emissions, with materials and construction alone accounting for 11% of that global total. However, it's often the case that one has to delve into the technical details to see what exactly makes a building sustainable. But once a recently approved residential high-rise in Perth, Australia, is erected, there will be no mistaking how central sustainability was to the project. Why? Because it would stand as the tallest wooden skyscraper in the world. Envisioned by Australian architecture firm Fraser and Partners. C6, the project's name, which is derived from its location at 6 Charles Street, aims to incorporate hybridized timber not just for floor paneling, but as an essential structural element throughout all of its 50 stories and 627 feet. Cross-laminated as well as glued laminated or glulam, timber will be used for its beams, joinery, studs, and more, making up 42% of the project's total materials. According to the project's website, the 79,652 square feet of timber needed translates to just 580 pine trees from sustainably managed forests, all of which can be regrown in 59 minutes from one forestry region alone. As a result, Fraser and Partners claims that C6 will use around 45% less concrete than a traditional building of a similar scale. Not only would that translate to a project that is carbon neutral at completion. But potentially net carbon negative over the course of the building's life cycle. Fraser and Partners asserts that the building is capable of sequestering nearly 23 million pounds of carbon, though a sustainable buildings expert who spoke to the Guardian points out that timber's propensity to end up in landfills at the end of its natural life cycle may ultimately reduce this number somewhat. In addition to the construction of its 200 residential units. Sustainability will feature prominently in other facets of C6's design, from basement to rooftop. The building will be powered via an embedded network that runs on 100% renewable energy. Instead of a traditional parking garage, residents will have access to a fleet of 80 shareable Tesla Model 3s, with EV charging ports available in every parking bay. In addition to space for entertaining and dining. C6 rooftop will also feature 5,382 square feet of edible and floral gardens. Once completed, C6 would surpass the world's current tallest wooden skyscraper, the Ascent Building in Wisconsin, which stands at just under 285 feet. It would also exceed the height of another hybrid timber project currently under construction in Sydney, that's set to top out at 590 feet. While further positioning the land down under as a leader in tall timber construction, despite that accolade, Fraser and Partners isn't as focused on setting records for tall timber construction as they are on helping others follow in their footsteps. The firm plans to make all of the project's technical materials available on an open-source basis. With architect and principal Reed Dixon telling the Guardian that our great hope is that C6 challenges the industry to do future projects better. There's no timeline for the completion of C6 just yet. But don't be surprised if this landmark wooden project inspires other sustainable-minded architects to eclipse its benchmark by the time residents are moving in. By Tim Nelson, October 11, 2023, Architectural Digest. 感谢您的收看与支持，欢迎在留言区分享您的看法和建议。如果觉得我们的内容对您有帮助，请不要犹豫按下订阅、按赞、分享和开启小铃铛。祝平安与美好与大家同在。